Hey guys and welcome back to my channel or welcome if it's your first time watching one of my videos. Hi, my name is James and today I'm going to be showing you how to create these 3D stars. They're seriously simple and easy to do and they're also really affordable so let's get into it. Okay guys, what you're going to need for this DIY is paper obviously. I chose card and the thickest card you can get I'd recommend. You're also going to need a pencil a eraser, string, a compass, a scalpel or some sort of cutting knife and you're going to need a ruler as well. You're also going to need either a super glue or a hot glue gun, whichever is easiest for you to get your hands on. So what you got to do first is get your ruler and your pencil and just draw a straight line. Now it doesn't really matter the size, like you know, it's not that important because it's just to do the shape that you're going to use to make the rest of your stars. And then get your compass, it doesn't matter, set it, set it to whatever um, radius you want and just plus it down and draw a circle. Okay, so once you have your circle drawn, then you need to find the halfway point of the circle. So what you do is you make your compass a bit wider than the actual radius, um, like so. And you just do a arc from each end where the center line touches the circle. And then you just join up these points together and that will give you your center point. Okay, now that we have our center point of the overall line now all you need to do is get the center point of half of the line and again just join these up together just like so and then that's your next point so we're going to call this point A. So what you need to do is you need to find your center line that you've done before this step. Um, and where that center line touches the end of the circle, just do a little dot there just so you know where it is. You're going to join that dot to A. So then to divide the circle up evenly into five points, what you have to do is get the distance from point B to the first point you found. Okay, and then just swing that along the outside of the circle. Okay, so them arcs that you just swung there, they're going to be the points of your five point star. So what you have to do then is just join them up. And you'll have your perfect five point star. Okay, next step. What you need to get is a chopping board or a cutting mat or whatever you have. I just have a cutting board. Um, so I'm gonna put the cutting board underneath um, the star that we just drew. And then I'm gonna get my ruler again and my scalpel or knife or whatever it is you have. Um, and I'm going to cut out the star. Okay, and then you will have your five point star cut out and you're going to use this as like a mold for the rest of your stars and you can make these in loads of different sizes. The size just depends on the radius you swing on your compass um, and you can get whatever size you want. Um, so it's kind of like a medium size star. I've done three different sizes, like, like a medium, a bigger one and a smaller one just to kind of add more interest. Um, so here it is. Okay, so then get a clean sheet of cards, get your mould of your star and then what you want to do is just trace around the outside of your star. Okay, so now you have your star traced out and then you need to get your cutting board again, put it underneath your piece of paper 
and then just cut out your star and then just keep doing this till you get however many stars you want and now a quick way of doing this if you're doing like a lot of stars is if you layer a couple of pieces of card together like so and you put the chopping board underneath um, and then you cut out but then be careful because you have to be careful when you have a few layered up because if you're cutting two stars at once you have to make sure the paper underneath doesn't like move or go off center because then you're going to end up with like a really funny looking star underneath and um, so if you want you can put like some blue tack or get some glue and like glue the two sheets together at the corners just so they don't move <laughs> Okay guys, so next step is to get your star and place it down on your chopping board or cut them out, whatever you have. Get your ruler, place it down on top, and what you have to do now is get your little scalpel. Now this part you have to be very careful with because you don't want to cut through the star. You just want to like score it a bit. So what you need to do is go from one of your points to and draw like a line down the middle. middle. Once this is done, then all you have to do is just fold your star on each line, like so. And then this inner point, if you just kind of get your finger like that and push it in, just to kind of really make it like, you know, 3D. And then that is your star done, completed, finito. enjoyed please let me know all your thoughts as always down below let me know if you're going to try this DIY you yourselves at home um, and if so take a picture tag me on Instagram I'd love to see and it. before I go please don't forget to hit that subscribe button also hit that little notification bell just to notify when I upload I upload every Wednesday and Saturday and for the month of December I'm uploading an extra few videos that will be coming as surprises throughout the week um, so you know don't forget to hit that bell so you're notified when they are posted um, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!